to be a little bit more clear, when you take a look at the Quran, you will see certain passages like Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 256, which says, La ikraha fiddin, there is no compulsion in religion. And Muslims will quote this and they will say, look, it says there's no compulsion in religion. Obviously, it's peaceful. But the Quran also has verses, like in chapter 9, verse 5, slay the infidel wherever you find them. Lay siege to them and take them captive. Chapter 9, verse 29 says, fight the Jews and Christians until they pay the tax and feel humiliated. Chapter 9, verse 111 says, Allah has bought your life and your property for this, that you may slay in battle and be slain. And this is the central message of Islam. The word Islam means submission. And so in order to gain favor with Allah, you are supposed to submit. You do what he tells you to do. And this is why the name Abdullah is so popular amongst Muslims. Abdullah means a slave or a servant of Allah. You just do what Allah tells you to do. Uh, and that's how Islam plays out. And in the first century, if someone claims to be God, it's the same response. You are crazy. But if that man then says, no, wait, watch, I will be killed. And on the third day, I will rise from the dead. And that's my proof for you that I am God. Now we have something to watch. Now we have something to see. The resurrection is the vindication of Jesus' claim to be God. Anybody can claim to be God. But if someone claims to be God and then proves it by rising from the dead, then there's someone to believe.